Shalom, Kahalah, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawasha, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahawasha, in all fear, Shalom. And this modern day Christianity, all right, that's flooded throughout the Western Hemisphere, which is America, all right, they miseducate the people and have the people to believe that the Savior of the King James Version only comes in the New Testament, all right, and that Savior of the King James Version is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right, which is a so-called modern-day black man which sprang out of the tribe of Judah, all right, and he's not only spoken of in the New Testament, all right, such as the, the Gospels, the letters, all right, of Paul, the letters of Peter, all right, he's spoken through the volume of the book. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, and verse 7, and it reads, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. And our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, comes in the volume of the King James Version, all right, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah in the Paleo Hebrew, which means he deliver or he saves. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shah means deliver or saves. And he comes in the volume of the book. And the volume of the book is what? The writings of the book, all right? which are the words of the King James Version. This is the book Luke 24 and verse 44. And he said unto them, and that he is Yahweh Shah, and that them is the disciples. And this is one of the accounts when Yahweh Shah had manifest himself unto the disciples. And strictly or simply, he was explaining to them what we just read in Psalms 40 and 7. For lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Luke 24 and 44 again. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Verse 45, Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. All right, so Yahweh Shah was telling the disciples that, hey, the, the Old Testament was written about me, all right? For lo, I come in, the, come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 7, and it reads, Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power, all right? So the key, the Old Testament of the King James Version was written of Yahweh Shai, all right, written as Speaking of Yahweh Shah, when he came as Yahweh Shah to fulfill the will of the Most High. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 24, and verse 17. And it reads, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth. All right. And this is speaking of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right. Which is that star that, 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 that was spoken of in the Old Testament, which is Numbers 24 and 17. All right. To come out of Jacob. All right. A scepter shall rise out of Israel. A ruler shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth, all right? And that's speaking about, what? The destruction of America. When our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah comes, Numbers 24 and 18, and Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do uh, va valiantly, valiantly, all right? Who is Edom, all right? The modern day Edomites, which is the so-called modern-day white man, all right? You shall be a possession of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right? Verse 19, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Verse 20, and when he look on Amalek, which, which are these modern-day bankers, all right? You Rothschilds, you Rockefellers, you Gettys, you DuPonts, all right? Which are the, the higher-ups, the, the wicked elites, all right, of the world. 
he took up his proverb and said, Amalek, which are the, the uh, Amalekites, um, uh, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. All right. So this is Yahweh Shah doing the will of his power. All right. And this is a future prophecy that 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 hasn't happened yet. All right. This is Yahweh Shah coming in the volume of the book. All right. That's the Old Testament. Let's let's get uh, Jeremiah 23. In verse 5, and this is proving that our Lord and our Savior, which is Yahweh Shah, which is a so-called modern-day black man, which sprang out of the tribe of Judah, right, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, came in the Old Testament. All right, this is Jeremiah 23 and verse 5, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, that I will rise up. Salakim, that I will rise unto David, all right, our King David, a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the land, all right? And that's our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right? Uh, uh, he, he is described as, as as the branch here. Matter of fact, let's get, um, let's get the book of St. John, chapter 10. Like him. Uh, let's get the book of St. John, uh, chapter 15 and 1. And it reads, I am the true vine. All right. Who's the true vine? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, which comes in the volume of the book. And my father is the husbandman, which is the vine dresser. Every branch in me. That beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth, forth more fruit. All right? Yahweh Shah is that main vine that we branch off of. All right? I just want to bring that out because he was spoken of as that branch, all right? Which is the, the, the vine, all right, of Yahweh Shah, all right? And we all connect to that branch, which is Yahweh Shah, which comes in the volume of the King James Version. All right, or the writings of the King James Version. So let's get Jeremiah um, 23 and 5 again. This is Jeremiah 23 and verse 5. It's a lot. Jeremiah 23 and verse 5 again. And it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will rise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And that's our Lord and our Savior. All right, when he come and set up the kingdom of heaven, which is our kingdom, all right, which is uh, a justice shall abide in the earth. Then once this upside down kingdom is destroyed, Jeremiah 23 and 6. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel, which is the whole uh, uh, nation of Israel, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord, our righteousness. And that's right. And that's going to happen that all of these are future prophecies, all right, of Yahweh Shah doing the will of the Most High, all right, Psalms 10 and 7. And this is Yahweh Shah coming in the volume of the King James Version, not just in the New Testament, all right? This is Job chapter 19. And I'm going to start at verse 25. And it reads. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, all right? And this is Job speaking. And that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Job is speaking of these times that we're living in now, all right? Which is future prophecy. Job was, 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 was a prophet also, all right? An upright man of the Lord and also a prophet of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And Job is speaking of our Lord and our Savior, which is his Redeemer, all right? And he's speaking of seeing Yahweh Shai and these last 
and evil days that we're living in. All right, which is the uh, Yahweh Shah doing the will of the Most High. All right, Job nineteen and twenty six, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see the Most High. All right, that's reincarnation also. We all know Job fell asleep, which meaning he died. All right, that's why the scripture said Job nineteen and twenty six, and though after my skin worms destroy this body all right he will his soul will leave the body all right yet in my flesh shall i see the most high all right or shall i shall, shall i see god all right which is your house which is our lord and our savior you have a shot all right and job is speaking of right now all right job 19 and 27 whom i shall see for myself all right every eye shall see all right, uh, every tongue shall confess, every eye shall see, and every knee shall bow. All right, at the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, read known, and my eyes shall behold, which means look, and not another, though my rins be consumed within me. All right, and I brought that out just to show you that, hey, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, is spoken of even in the book of Job. All right, thus um, brings Psalms 40 and 7 back into play all right then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me all right and it, this this king james version is written of our lord and our savior yahweh shot all right and it is written for our lord and our savior or prophesied all right uh in in the law in the prophets okay in the writings of the book in the volume of the book for yahweh shot to do the will of the most high all right so with that, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying, all right, and know that this modern day Christianity and any other philosophies are way off, man. Our Lord and our Savior, which is Yahweh Shah in the Paleo Hebrew and not Jesus Christ, all right, comes in the volume of the of the book, which is the King James Version, which volume means the writings of the King James Version. And with that, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall awarm to his elect. And death to America. <laughs>